who's coming in now. Everybody, please stand.
Dearly beloved, we are assembled here in the presence of God to join this man and this woman in holy marriage, which is instituted of God, regulated by his commandments, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ, and to be held in honor among all men. Let us therefore reverently remember that God has established and sanctified marriage for the welfare and happiness of mankind, our Savior, has declared that a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife. By his, dis by his apostles, he has instructed those who enter into this relation to cherish a mutual uh, esteem and love, to bear with each other's infirmities and weaknesses, to comfort each other in sickness, trouble, and sorrow, in honesty and industry, to pro provide for each other and for their household, in temporal things to pray for and encourage each other in the things which pertain to God and to live together as the heirs of the grace of life. For as much as these two persons have come uh, hither to be made one in this holy estate, if there be any here present who know any just reason why they, why they may not lawfully be joined in marriage, I require him or her now to make it known or ever after to hold his or her peace. Who giveth this woman to be wedded to this man? You may be seated. You're beautiful, sis. Good evening, everyone. My name is Kennedy, the niece of my Aunt Lou. This poem is dedicated to my Aunt Lou and my Uncle Lucian. Since my Aunt Pam couldn't be here, I am reading this in her honor. I was made to love you. We bring out the very best in each other, making us not only friends, but the most intimate of lovers. We've traveled down life's road for better or worse. We stayed the course. Together, we are an unstoppable force. Although we loved and lost along the way, the journey has brought us together. There is nothing more to say. Far beyond youthful indiscretions, mistakes, and games, we will face the universe together and call out each other's names. We will stand as one, facing any challenges hand in hand, moving entwined, I as your woman and you as my man. Savoring the promise that life offers us all, savoring our heights and never forgetting the falls. Strength and love between us hard, fall and won, truth be told. Coming to us sinewy and naturally, such as a beauty to be hope. We know how far we've come and the places we've come from. There is so much in the journey we'll create together before we're done. In your lovely eyes, I see no wrong, no falsities or darkness, only truth. Take my hand, let's begin, because I was made to love you. Congratulations to you both. And now we would have the couple to light candles for those who are not here with them at this special moment. Why 
I charge you both before the great God, the searcher of all hearts, that if either of you know any reason why you may not lawfully be joined together in marriage, you do this, now confess it. For be you well assured that if any persons are joined together otherwise, then as God's word allows, this union is not blessed by him. They have a special pledge that they want to right now uh, share with each other. I pray to the Lord that I find someone in love way before I pass and while my mom is still here. He sent me you and a lovely family, Reggie, Jessica, Trey, Leonard, and Lawrence. I promise to love all of you guys. I promise to be there to the end. I promise to be a father, a friend, and a husband. And most of all, to love you to the end. Oh, oh, <laughs> I feel like I got a book. <laughs> <laughs> When I think about the day we met in Kelly and James' kitchen, I know that God put us together in that moment. I didn't realize at that time how much my life was about to change forever. Only God could have orchestrated a union such as ours. I never thought I would ever meet a man like you, a man that loves everyone unconditionally. You ask for nothing in return. You make me look at the world in different eyes. You make me feel, you make me a better person by being honest and caring. I never thought I would find a love like this and be happy. You love me and all my flaws, and you love and accept my children and all their flaws. <laughs> your loving, kind spirit towards your mother and family is very rare. Your commitment is truly a gift to other people. 
I thought chivalry was something you saw in movies, but you proved that to be wrong. You are a gentleman, a friend, and a father to many. I want to thank your parents for raising a man like you because they had a lot to do with who you are. I have opened my heart to you, and I feel we both love each other unconditionally. I know that marriage can sometimes be good and sometimes be a challenge, but I'm willing to put in all the work it takes to keep our relationship secure, sacred, and a safe place. Lucian, I love you. I love you. And I'm in love with you, I'm as we you always know. say. I am so honored to be your friend, your partner, your wife. And I'm so proud to call you my friend, my partner, and my husband. I am so happy to have all of our friends and family to bear witness to what God can do and what has done. I will be a loving and caring and faithful wife to you for the rest of our lives. I will support, care, and be committed to you, family, and our relationship. And when I look back at the past and remember some of the hurtful things, I know in my heart that they helped to bring me to this moment. I am now thankful for those experiences because some of those experiences may be the person that I am today. I know now that I was made to love you. Oh, love, you gotta wait for Will to get through. That's a premature kiss. That was a premature kiss. That was a premature kiss. Your whole world. I know, I know he's in a rush. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, I, okay. You, do, do I share this, what I just said with them? <laughs> I, I just told them that was a premature kiss. Uh, we have to wait till the ceremony's over, I told them. <laughs> Father, we just invite you not only into this place, but Lord God, we invite you into this relationship. Help them, Lord God, yeah. as they come, as they make your word a reality in their lives. You said in your word, the two will be one. But Lord God, uh, that's not a reality until you by your spirit began to kindle their hearts together. Melt them, Lord God, in mind as well as in emotion and desires. Melt them together while they maintain their individuality. And then, Lord God, know that you are the place whenever they have marital problems. You are the one to run to. And if each one run to you, they will meet you right there at the altar. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, Lucius, wilt thou have this woman to be thy wife? And wilt thou pledge thy faithfulness to her in all love and honor and all duty and service? in all faith and tenderness to live with her and cherish her according to the ordinance of God in the holy bond of marriage. I do. Luv Luvinia, did I get it? Yes. <laughs> will thou have this man to be thy husband and will thou pledge thy faithfulness to him in all love and honor in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with him and cherish him according to the ordinance of God in the holy bond of marriage. I do. I, do. I need you to repeat after me, Lucius. I, Lucius. I, Lucius. Take, take the Lavinia. Lav Lavinia. Lavinia. <laughs> to be my wedded wife. I, Lucian, take Lavinia to be my wedded wife. And to do promise and covenant. I promise and covenant. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be thy lover. Thy lover. And faithful husband. And faithful husband. In pleasure. In pleasure. And in want. In want. In joy. In joy. In sorrow. In sorrow. In sickness. In sickness. In health. As long as we, as long as we both live, both live. Now, I, Lavinia, Lavinia, take the Lucius. I, Lavinia, 
take thee, Lucia. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I do promise and covenant. I do promise and covenant. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be thy loving and faithful wife. To be thy loving and faithful wife. In pleasant and in want. In pleasant and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Will there be rings exchanged? I have the ring. Lucius, repeat after me as you slide the ring on her finger. You can actually put your finger, yeah, there you go. With this ring, With this ring I thee wed, I thee wed. In, the in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. With this ring, With this ring I, thee wed, I thee wed, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Bless, O Lord, this ring that these two give and receive from one another, that they would wear them, and that in wearing them that they may abide in, the, in thy peace and continue in thy favor until their life's end, through Jesus Christ our Lord. I ask that you would bow your head with me. Father, thank you again for bringing this, co this couple together. Thank you, Lord God, for you now have sealed this relationship. And Lord God, we just praise you that you know what we need before we even need it. And you orchestrate life, Lord God, until where your will come into fruition. We thank you in Jesus' name. By the authority committed unto me as a minister of the Church of Christ, I declare that Lucius Lavinia, <laughs> or now husband and wife, right. according to the ordinance of God and the law of the state of Missouri, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, whom God therefore had joined together, let no man put asunder. Now you may kiss your wife. <laughs> all right, all right. I ask that you would face, face, no, I ask you that you would face the audience. I introduce to one and all, Mr. and Mrs. Lucia Lavinia Woods. <laughs> Would y'all put y'all hands together again for this? <laughs> y'all look lovely. Thank you. If I didn't know no better, I thought y'all was in here trying to catch somebody. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I can't stop crying. That's my mama. That's my mama and my daddy. It was beautiful. I know that they appreciate y'all being here. Ain't nothing like having family joining in your celebration. I'm like, I'm like my husband and my and her brother and they was at the table. I'm like, yeah, they know that they're supposed to be here. Back at the table too.